Kentucky. There's Walker. Watch what this guy can do in the middle. The block. That's not all. Again, blocking Tony Delk this time. A school record 10 blocks for Walker. Louisville up early, but Walter McCarty with a shot. Kentucky was within two. Time running down first half. That's Tick Rogers to find Jason Osborne for the jam. Louisville up by four at the half. Cardinal fans loving it. Second half, Roderick Rhodes. That's the three. That was the first lead of the game for Kentucky by two. Dewan Wheat, though, big game for him. There's a three of his own. Louisville up by five, and Tony Delk trying to keep the Cats in it. Nails the three. It went back and forth that way for a while. Then Louisville's B.J. Flynn. His dad used to play for Kentucky. He gets a big bucket for Louisville, 78-72. Wildcats, this is why they're ranked. They're hanging in. Delk to Shepard for three, 78-75 Louisville. But Dewan Wheat, two of his 23 points, and Louisville hangs on to win it, 88 86, their sixth straight victory for the Cardinals. The story, Samaki, 14 points, 10 boards, and once again, game plan ready for Florida. Second half, where's the Florida defense? Randy Livingston finds Ronnie Henderson all alone. 49-43 Tigers, very next trip down court. Henderson feeds Livingston, a nice down the lane for the hoop, and the foul, a nine-point lead, 22 for Livingston. Florida makes a late run, Dan Cross follows, gets his own rebound, little runner, gets it to go, cuts the lead down to two. Under 10 to go. Cross can tie with the runner. That one won't go. The ball goes to LSU, and so does the win. 70 to 66. Livingston, the redshirt freshman, real impressive with his 22. Just nine games worth of experience coming. Johnson blocked by Jason Lawless and Kerry Kittles all the way. Kittles a game high 25. Enter Ray Allen off the bench. Allen the steal. The jam gets the foul as well. Ankin looks pretty good there. Allen had 19 off the bench. And Jim Calhoun. Enjoyed that one. Connecticut with the victory, 77 to 62. You take. Oh, early first half, Rasheed Wallace off the inbounds. Spank, 6 2. Dean's team. Wolfpack killed the heels from outside. Clint Harrison nails the three, 15 10 state. Tied at 17, heels on the break. Donald Williams to the hoop. Always follow hard. Stackhouse, give me, give me my house. 1917 heels. Late first half, 36 all. Ricky Daniels. State by three. Early second half. Wolfpack up four. Stackhouse McGinnis. Yes, he didn't travel. The surge. Zwicker. Heels surging. But Lakista McCuller. Caution flammable. Wolfpack by two. Lakista corner for three. He scored 24. Then state up three. Donald Williams. For three. We're all knotted up. But state went back up by three. And then Todd Fuller. Drops it in. He's all right. And that clinched it. Dante and the heels upset. The fans flood the floor. This is a huge win as the NC State program rebuilds. Les Robinson emotes. And this was the conference opener for both teams. NC State previously lost to number two UCLA by eight points and to number five Kansas by five. So for you, Scotty Thurman misses Corliss Williamson <laughs> on the glass. And the foul. 13 points for Corliss. Good hustle on the offensive glass by the Rebels. John Jackson misses another miss, and then J.J. scores. All missed by three at the half. Second half, more hustle by the Rebels. Off the deflected pass, David Johnson falls to the floor. Oh, resourceful! To Jackson for the slam. Ole Miss in the upset. Ole Miss came into this game with the three-game losing streak. They took the lead in the first half with a 14-3 run. Ole Miss had four players in double figures led by J.J. and Jack Jackson with 14. Clemson Duke, Rick Barnes. And Clemson trying to win in Durham for the first time since 84. Duke high-low passing. Make the Cherokee Nation Cherokee pride. He had 19. Clemson hung tough. Bill Harder drives and dishes. How about a tripod? Getting a little dizzy. Bruce Martin hits the three. Clemson by six at the half. Second half. Rayfield Ragland took over, scoring 11 points in a three-minute stretch. And Clemson wins. Clemson is without their most experienced player, Devin Gray. He didn't make the grades academically ineligible. Clemson's game plan worked. They slowed it down and used all of the shot clock. Telling one of his jokes to the doctor who laughs the man's laughs. Hoosiers offense laughable. Michael Herman nothing but the top and bottom of the air. Lindemann misses and falls. Neil Reed, backdoor bunny, no! Bobby, what gives? The Hoosiers defense, Andre Woolridge, untouched. Unbelievable. Iowa led at half, 42-24. Second half, Hawkeyes in control. 
Kenyon Murray, that's a good shot. You can practice that one and the foul. Iowa wins. Iowa held the Hoosiers to their lowest point total of the year. The Hoosiers also committed a season high. Not going to start. Instead, Jared Prickett and Mark Pope. First half pick. Prickett to both. Give Jared Prickett. Punctuation. Cats up 11 too early. Then Rhodes off the bench to Jeff Shepard. Kentucky wins. Rhodes 23 points off the bench. Rick Patino said he was not benching Rhodes. Just because a player doesn't start does not mean they won't play. Okay, Rick, but you did change your lineup and sent Rhodes to the bench, and that's a form of benching. Georgia Tech, Maryland. Maryland total team offense. Keith Booth upstairs to X-ray hip. And then it's Simpkins, Dwayne, to Big Joe Smith against four men. Scores in a crown. Bobby Kremens not happy. Nothing going Tech's way. Dwayne Simpkins dribbles off his foot. Shot clock running down. Launch it, man. Just throw it up, and yeah. Terps by six at the half. Second half, more of the same. Keith Booth steals it. X-ray hip. Maryland wins. Maryland improves to 11 and two. All five starters in double figures. Hip with 16. Booth 14. G score. Respert couldn't take his warm-ups off fast enough. Driving the lane, right-handed over three defenders, and they lead by eight. Then Respert, from well beyond the arc, had a game-high 29, and he can pass as well. Watch the steal here, or grabbing the loose ball. Gets it ahead to Eric Snow, who would finish handily, and Judd Heathcote has something to applaud as the Spartans win at 78-64. 29 points for Sean Respert. Makes his 52nd straight. And he does so. Gophers up by two, then under a minute to go. David Grimm for three on the baseline. Minnesota up two once again. And then as time runs out, Rasan Carlton to win. No good. And Minnesota hangs on by a pair. Vashawn Leonard snapping out of his funk. With 21, he's now second on the school's all-time scoring list. The Gophers win their seventh straight conference. Cougars looking good. Carlos Daniel playing with a broken hand. The big block on Tremaine Folks. He would be okay. Jelani Gardner the steal and land, and we're all tied up at uh, 54. The Cougars pull away. Dominic Ellison for three, and everything going the Cougars' way. Yeah. And they win it. Dominic Ellison, Kerhide, 26 points. The Cougars now have won seven of their last nine games. Nifty passing by the Golden Eagles. William Gates, the reverse. Rick Brunson, the running bank shot. That's what it's all about. Louisville, Virginia Commonwealth. Denny Crum getting adjusted in his seat. Pass down low to Samaki Walker for the jam. And then Ben Peabody drives. Bernard Hopkins, the rebound, and scores. VCU wins. Pretty move. McCoy had 18. Loyola, Notre Dame. The textbook bounce pass. And Pat Garrity scores. More Garrity. Pat in the corner. Release, rotation, splash. How about the Fighting Irish? 10-point win. Virginia Tech to Lane. Sean Good. Sean Good, the good defense. All the way, and he likes to dunk whenever possible. Gerald Honeycutt. More defense. The dish to Chris Cameron. Tulane wins. Tulane wins. Brett, what do you got for us? Well, I got a little more Pac-10 hoops, Craigster. We got Stanford and Washington. That's Husky coach Bob Bender barking as a Husky might do. And then Stanford with the turnover. He likes that. Jamie Booker, the great save on the other end, gets it to Roberto Bergerson. And he lays it in softly. And then the Cardinal on the break. We have Brevin Knight with the outlet pass ahead to Harbor. And Harbor lays it in with the finger roll, had 14, and they won it by 14. Brevin Knight playing just 27 minutes due to a stress fracture in the leg. Stanford has won the first 10 games of the season for the first time since 1953. UCLA at Oregon. Jim Herrick's Bruins, a 13-point lead in the second half. Under five minutes left, Henry Madden hits the three. Ducks up one. Tyus Edney, the Bruins back up by one. Oregon's next possession, Kenya Wilkins, the runner. The Ducks by one. Ty Edney going to try to come back. Put the Bruins up. Shuffles the feet. That's a traveling in any league. Jim Herrick, irate. Already hit with one technical. Bumps the ref. 
He's gone. Jimmy's gone. Technical number two. Orlando Williams hit on four straight free throws from the from the tees. He would ice the game for the Ducks. Get on that floor, fans. Just cover it up. Oregon beats number two UCLA. They couldn't beat Penn State in football number two, but this is in football. The Ducks improved the nine and one. The Bruins and O'Bannon said we didn't care anything about North Carolina losing. That's clear across the country. We move on. Arizona, ASU, they were flipping in Sun Devil country. Second half, it's dinner time, Brett, for Arizona State. Marcel Capers to James Bacon. Bring home the bacon. More sizzling bacon. <laughs> now it's main course time. James Veal. <laughs> yeah, the pick from Stoudemire takes it in for the, for the jam. 13 to three run in the second half. Watch this, Stoudemire hits the three with six seconds left, but it doesn't count. The ref says no. Teammate Ray O's called a timeout before the shot. Arizona huddles up. They're going to try to win it. Out of the timeout, Reggie Geary drives, loose ball, everyone dive, 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 and the game's over. ASU wins. Ron Riley scored 16 of his 19 in the second half. Neither team shot well. Penn and Harvard. Penn on the move. Matt Maloney, Ira Bowman. Ira Bowman with the big dunk. And then it's Maloney looking for Jerome Allen. He's going to find Jerome Allen. Allen, that's a dunk. 12 points for him. And the band likes it because 30 times in a row now, Pennsylvania has come away with an Ivy League win. They tie their own record. Well, now Cincinnati and DePaul, you want to follow your shot. Curtis Bostic, he did. He followed. He missed. He got it. He scored off the board. Did someone say follow the shot? Tom Klein, Schmidt, he misses. But from the foul line, Brandon Cole is there for the tip in, and he is much pleased. Cincinnati a bit too tough, though. Keith Legree, he's going to finish down deep. Seven straight wins now. Cincinnati over.